Hey, what's up, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm back with another video. And I got a bunch of packages that didn't came in. A bunch of packages. Packages after packages. This one is open. What well, came in here from Rock Auto. Uh, I was going to do an unboxing, but people started getting nosy and wanted to know what was in here. So, yeah. But I opened this one to see what this was. This is a engine cover gaskets. I said I was going to do that. That's that. Uh, rotor. Remember I said I needed one rotor for that car. Matter of fact, I don't think I, I don't think in the last video, I don't think I explained what all I needed. But if I didn't, then I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. So, once we start to try to do the brakes, I know the first video was all over the place. But I'm going to try to get to the point now. And actually, I'm excited to go ahead and drop this video. That's why I would, normally, y'all know I'm be dropping videos this quick. But... So, we went to do the brakes on the car. I left the back brakes. I left them at home. Here they go right here. So, I couldn't do them that day. All I do was the front brakes. But, I didn't know that until I started taking off the back brakes. That's when I seen that the uh, caliber was bad on the back right one. So, um, I figured I'd have to buy a caliber for that one. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to buy a caliber for that one. So, I was like, matter of fact, since I'm, I know I can't do the back. Let me just do the front. So I go to the front, it looks like the front one is kind of beat up and busted. So I'm like, the car is from 86. I don't know when last time they changed them, um, the uh, brakes and all that, the rotors and all that. But I felt the rotors, the rotors was cool. Except for one. One was all bad, which is actually in my car right now. I need to, it's probably going to send it back so I can get a core. Get a little of my money back or whatever. I don't know if they do the core. I have to look into it. But... They do do core on like the calipers for sure. So, I bought the rotor. I know I needed that. I go on. Also, I see that the one brake pad isn't bad. Only the back one is kind of bad for some. And then the other ones, the two front ones, the brake pads don't like they bad at all. So, I'm like, oh, have these brakes been working? Because I noticed whenever you try to stop the car, it's like it don't want to stop. Even when we put it in neutral and rolled it back. It's like, damn, car didn't want to stop. It just wanted to keep rolling. So... I come to the conclusion that maybe only one caliber was working on that car. But luckily, I didn't take it nowhere far. So I bought. It's not, let me go ahead and just buy all four new calipers. So it's hard to come up on the back calipers. Front calipers are easy to find, as you see right here. Those are the front calipers. Back ones are more expensive as well. So the back calipers were maybe like. I can't remember. Back ones like probably like 100 and something each. Front ones were like maybe 30, 40, something like that each. So I ordered the back ones from Car ID. I don't know when they shipped them. They haven't shipped them yet. Everything else is here. Pretty much I got one more package coming from Rock Audio. This is, I'm not sponsored by no Rock Audio, nothing like Rock Auto. But if you do need anything for your car, if you're working on an old car, I don't know about newer cars because I haven't looked for my other car, but for these old cars, Rock Auto has everything, pretty much. Literally everything. So, I got this from Rock Auto, which is the gaskets, like I told you. I got front, back, two front, two front, and I'm supposed to order, I'm supposed to be another back rear, but... I got my two front back. I got my front and back um, brake hoses. I'm gonna swap them out. So I swap them out. Back brakes is already here, and I got a new gasket. So like I said, as y'all see, as I told you in the last video, the other gasket was good, but so for some reason I was like, let me just go ahead and change the gasket. So I started looking at gaskets on Rock Auto, and I found this one, FVP verified proven. Uh, fail safe technology from Motorrad. So I'm looking, I'm like, okay, and that's the part number right there. It feels on. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay. I start reading it, and I'm like, okay, is it the temperature that the thermostat kicks in is less than the, the OEM? OEM, I think it's maybe like 180, 190 something, 195. This thermostat kicks in at 160. So when the car reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit thermostat kicks in which is a plus it's an old car so then I start looking more to it it has the fail safe technology on it 
which means whenever it does fail or if it do fail it gets you know how most thermostats whenever they break or die or whatever you want to call it they close so they don't open up which keeps the water from flowing to the engine and things of that nature this type of thermostat when it fails or when it dies breaks however you want to call it it stays in an open position so water constantly flows so i'm like okay cool so i bought it it's like eight bucks this is more the premium one it's like eight bucks ten bucks something like that and i also noticed with rock audio pri i keep saying audio rock auto prices are actually cheaper than AutoZone. so if you looking for cheap car parts um shipping was like made 40 bucks 50 bucks for all shipping of all the items i got which isn't bad because i bought as you see a lot of stuff and this is not all of us they got one more package coming which should be sunday from rock auto the other package should be car id but like i said i got my rotor right here got a new rotor this right here was more of like the premium rotor as well i didn't go with like the the high performance whatever because i'm not racing and all that but um, I was thinking about maybe I should have changed it because uh them swingers, but uh, I don't know. That should be cool. I ain't doing no no heavy, heavy racing. Like, them swingers long as hell and big as hell, but... So, this box heavy as hell. So, I'm going to have to stop it and pick it up. But before I get to that, I also had another package coming today. Gorilla Mode uh, pre-workout. Uh, good ass stuff. Good, good, good. Y'all see my clothes back to my work shirt. Oh, it also don't mind uh, the wrinkle white tee. I had it up underneath the uh, the work polo. It was Friday. You don't have to dress up at work. You can wear your work polo or whatever. So I did that. But the gorilla mode. Any y'all that go to the gym need some pre work I needed some more because at work I get off at four thirty. I'm working like you know nine to five, whatever. So once I got once I get off, I'll be tired. See, I'm trying to go to the gym. And the pre workout I had, which I had this one, but I had a different flavor. I was out, so I wasn't taking it. So I went. I haven't been going to the gym as frequent as I was before I started this job. This new job, I was working. I mean, I was going to the gym six days a week. Now I'm only going like maybe one day a week. But I got my gorilla mode, so it's about to change. We're getting back at it on Sunday. So, and I'm also about to get a haircut right now. And Jock, I know you're watching this video. You my boy, but I'm gonna need you to uh, stop cutting my beard. You making my beard shorter. We trying to grow it up, get it back high. So yeah. But let me take out these calipers and I gotta show y'all that. All right, so this caliber heavy as hell, y'all. And I'm holding this shit with my left hand, so yeah. But yeah, this is a re uh, remanufactured caliber. You know, it ain't brand new, of course. But see the uh, piston and everything is back in there. Uh, this shit heavy, but yeah. This is, I'm guessing, the right one. So yeah, put this shit back in here. As y'all see, same old, same old, just the opposite size. So these are the two front calipers. Yeah, left and right front calipers with the rotor, brake hoses, thermostat brakes, um, the gasket, and the bleeder tool over there. But, yeah, I don't even think I'm going to bleed them damn brakes. I need to really just return and get my damn money back for this damn bleeder tool. Oh, don't fall, man. Oh. Yeah. I need to go ahead and return this shit, get my damn money back. I might just keep it for the future reference. But, yeah, man, this is the video, man. Just a little quick little video showing y'all the parts. I'm still waiting on the other hoses. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't even remember everything that I fucking bought. Oh, okay. So, this is the paperwork. So, the only two things that I'm missing, I'm missing one of the hoses, because that's three hoses. I need one more hose. And I'm missing the stabilizer bar link bushings. Stabilizer bar end link slash bushing. Those two. I got two for the two front. Those and the two back calibers. And like I said, the hose. So that's all I'm missing. I ain't gonna show you. We got my address and everything on here. But after that then i should be good so i just want to upload this video man like i said i'm excited man uh anthony get your hands dirty he knows this inside joke get your hands dirty man you already know get your hands dirty so yeah thank y'all for tuning in man i'll go ahead and uh stop this video go get my hair cut and i don't know if i'm gonna put this on at least start working on this weekend 
or I may wait. Cause honestly, I might pay somebody to do this. I'm gonna be honest. I might pay somebody to do this. So we'll see though. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all subscribe and like. Stay tuned as y'all go with me on this build of this 86 Wineberry. I'm going Wineberry. Wineberry candy over gold. So y'all stay tuned, man.